we're playing with big, severe, heavy, bone-crushing toys. <laughs> We're building a security robot of the near-term future. And he said, you got two weeks. And I go, oh my god, are you kidding me? Let's get rolling. Let's go work. All right. I, they can be made to move with finesse and grace, and, and that's what's amazing to me. Everything we use in here was discarded by somebody else. We were looking for things that would jump out of the pile of junk and say, you know, hey, I want to be a part of your robot. First thing we need to do is drop the lift assembly down. There's parts of Christian that can appreciate Neil Diamond. There's parts of Christian that is fascinated by automotive collisions. The movie work has been really good. I did AI, Mission to Mars, and most recently Spider-Man 2. Definitely like an insane tinkerer. Absolutely cannot leave anything alone. <laughs> I picked up this pretty heavy bearing and chucked it at the wall and screamed and uh, felt better. I get frustrated easy, that's for sure. But I grew up in a tiny little farm town in Colorado and I tore apart anything I could get my hands on. There was just kind of a surge of voltage and it blew these little diodes which um, are very necessary. We are about to perform the first ever test of the perpetrator retention device. It's not so much a machine. Once it's actually got electricity and it's moving around, it's, it's a creature. And that would allow police or the management to basically see what the robot sees at any given time. They're my friends. I make them. That's kind of how it is. I mean, I actually have friends. I'm not totally helpless, but, you know, worst comes to worst, I could make my own friends, I guess. <laughs> so getting in here and, and putting in these devices that feel like organs and plumbing them and doing all this sort of like radical stuff to it, it's hot, you know, it's good stuff. Yeah. It'll weigh over a thousand pounds and it, it'll be pretty quick. It's gonna be, it's gonna be startling. We used all the, all the destructive tools of the trade. I'm using some pretty basic, straightforward technologies and I'm doing stupid stuff with them, but it's entertaining. I'm having a blast. I don't think there's going to be any problem. I hope he's right. I absolutely hope he's right. <laughs> you have to think of what's the stupidest, craziest, most entertaining thing I could possibly conceive of, and then do it. <laughs> <laughs>